Welcome our guest this week. We have the number one never skip egg day with amassing over 75 million followers on social media, has been doing this for 45 plus years. He's had a show on Food Network. He was the number one YouTuber in the world that fell off, then came back on again. This is the Never Skip Egg Day. Everything about food, all things food, Josh Elkin. Yeah, Welcome in. Good. Wallahi. Wallahi. Welcome in, Hababies. To another episode of the A-Rabs podcast. Ooh. Let's finally kick it off. What's up, Josh? We finally have you in the studio. And we're dressed appropriately for, you know, the, sh the chef. When hat. you started introducing him, he started spreading his legs a little more. He got I'm, I'm man spreading right now. <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you got way too excited. I'm man spreading. It was good, though. You were like, oh, wow. Yeah, that, I, that is me. I did all of those things. <laughs> when you hear it back, you're like, fuck, I am the shit. <laughs> I've done so many cool You're things. You're such a bitch, dude. <laughs> I am. I am the man. I am. It's better when people guess you up versus guessing yourself up. Yeah, hundred percent. It makes you feel so up. much cooler. Yeah, <laughs> like oh, I feel I fucking 40, cool right now. I added years so much life. fake facts into that. You do realize, guys? Yeah, like 45, nah, 45 year veteran. Yeah, that was insane. <laughs> That was insane. It's, he's been doing it forever. Josh has been doing it forever. Josh Just since the, he was a baby. <laughs> Josh is the reason why I got into content. Josh forced me into this. Uh, he's been doing oh, it Oh, you want to go there right that? away? No, yeah, right no, away. we can start right away. We can right right argue. Okay, so I don't know if you I don't know if you I don't know if you guys know this or not, but mm. before uh Twitch was a thing, before Capri Caper, Caper. What, was ever like even thought about streaming or being himself, really. Mm. He had he made YouTube content. Have you seen his old YouTube videos? Oh yeah, they're the... weird. Bleep <laughs> <laughs> this out. Uh, that was uh, yeah. That was the weirdest shit ever. I liked, but you liked it. it. I mean, it was, I didn't it was, like it. Weird. It made me feel a certain way. It's yeah. like one of those movies that you watch as a kid. And you're like, it creeped you out, and you never watch it again. And you thought about it, and it's like, oh, this wasn't that. It's pretty bad. much Adult Swim for me when I was growing <laughs> up. You walk, you look that shit back, and it was the weirdest, most creeped out content. But it was produced well. Yeah, especially for that era. Yeah, right? yeah. Oh yeah, dude, that was a long time ago. I was gonna yeah. say. And then, um, COVID hit. Yeah. Hold on, my stomach. Is no, let it growl, dude. <laughs> Grab some more. Jo uh... Josh asked us, we're like, what? What is your? What do you want for the body? He's like a charcuterie oh. board, an orange wine. It's not charcuterie. Right? Char say right. Charcuterie. 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 No, that's as, not true. As, as as the resident best cook on this podcast right now, I, it's how you say it. It's French charcuterie. You can barely heat up leftover yeah, I was just food. Say, I was just saying you're you gonna have to talk. Mean. Listen, refs, <laughs> I can't cook. I'm not even gonna claim that shit. I have the chef hat. Josh is. Have you seen him? His turkey sandwich TikTok. What with the with the pita, with the pita? No, he doesn't it have was, pita and was, hummus and pepperoni. Oh, no, he didn't see it because Nothing. he would have called Dude, me. Dude, it was the smallest piece of bread I've ever seen in my life, and it he torched it. What'd what you, you do? Cooking a deli sandwich? I was just making a sandwich that was a small little piece of bread. It was a deli sandwich, but a mini one. Okay, and it was it was good, and I did an Italian accent. The portions. So you were offensive. Yeah. Shocker. <laughs> the portions did not like of like the turkey and all the other shit it did not match the bread size. Yeah. The portions are definitely okay. Can I ask you a question though? We have Josh. We, Wait, we I want to get back yeah, to my story, story about how you started That's streaming a lot yeah, today yeah, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it was the pandemic and Capri Sun Poppy. Uh, sorry, a Caper was. Yeah, uh, <laughs> bleep, it. Bleep, bleep it out and just replace it every time he says my full name with, with Caper. One of his EP no, wait, 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 Capri Sun Poppy. There you go. Yeah. Actually, uh, his original name was Caper Sun Poppy. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, that you could say. Okay. So Caper, it was a pandemic, and Caper uh, was tripping out because... <laughs> we got to believe that, that one out. <laughs> oh, they don't, they don't know. <laughs> and, I'm just, I'm just doxing the fuck out of this And his address <laughs> is... <laughs> Yo, what, what's the address of this, this, this uh, studio right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is actually a true story. So he wanted to start streaming and he was telling me, he's like, oh, I'm going to go on YouTube. And then I said to him, and then he did go on YouTube. Okay. And he said, man, YouTube's not it. I'm like, dude, come to Twitch. What the fuck is wrong with you? Like they're just building community. And you're like, no, I don't know if I should do it. Anyways, fast forward like four years later. Yeah. And he, and he loves everything I said to him and he owes everything to me. And in fact, I get residuals. 
So you're on the, the caper sign poppy so channel. So you're the reason why the internet has been ruined. Yeah, yeah, it's my fault. Yeah, jo yeah. Josh, Josh was so to, to to Josh's credit, the first time I ever streamed was not on Twitch, and it wasn't on YouTube. It was on Facebook Gaming. Oh my because, god! Because yeah, there you go. Because Josh was the one of the OG Facebook gaming streamers, but he. Facebook approached you, right? Yeah. And they wanted you to do gaming. And I'm not a gamer. And you're not a gamer. So you decided, I'm going to cook a meal while I game. Yeah. So oh, he would, genius. He it would sick. play. It was sick. Were <laughs> you playing sick. Far Cry? You would play. I did. I played Far Cry. Fortnite. I, no. I For one second, I played Fortnite. Yeah, you were bad. You couldn't get up a box. I'm not interested in Fortnite. I've never <laughs> been <interested. laughs> I did Fortnite. I did uh, Red Dead. I did. Uh, a lot what, of Far Cry. What, what, what was the game with the, with the hook? The hand with the hook. Zelda? What was that? You know, it's like it's basically like it's an open world, and he has like a oh oh, oh oh no, I this, I was know that, what you're thinking about. It's not Far Cry, Assassin's but Creed? it's a third person. Uh, yeah, damn that dude, one, I know a game. that's a good game. Oh my I'm god, all about campaigns. Yeah, no, it's I'm my, the same it's way. my shit. I'm the same way. So those are the campaign games I did. I did Fear, uh, uh, God of War. I did. Mm -hmm. I did Spider Man. But I I would I would I would go for a two hour stream, and I would um. Campaigns you could pause. So if I needed to like flip an egg or, you know, deep fry potatoes or yeah. something, I'd be able to do that. And the setup was like me, one camera, there was half the screen, the video, uh, the game. And then I would have a top down camera with like the food, yeah. a hot plate, whatever. So, dude, you all things food. All things food, all breakfast. You would cook and then you would literally go live. And I remember I was like working and Josh would hit me up. He's like, hey, man, you want to get on a game real quick? It's like 12. I'm like, no, dude, I got a job. And you're like, but it's really good content. <laughs> like, this is, this you is did like, sometimes, though. Dude, it was crazy because it was this was years before like I knew even what Twitch was. It was like, like 2017. Yeah, it was like 2017. Mm, okay. So like for me, I didn't know anything about Twitch. Like right before the, the pandemic. Then, it was like way before. Way before. The, the way before. I was yeah. living in a different house at that time. Yeah, yeah, pandemic. My pandemic house was like small. It was it was, it was, it was shack. awful. Yeah, I yeah. remember. <laughs> Nothing like your house now. It's huge. Relax. <laughs> lonely. <laughs> let's, let, Definitely. Let's, lonely. Dox, let's, let's dox Josh, dude. Relax. <laughs> you won't be invited back ever again. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good time though. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for having Dude, us. Dude, the food fucking slapped. I, I was, was speechless good. the entire night. I had nothing to say. I was, it like, was God, good. This food's too good to talk right now. Well, and it was it was a party. It was a good party. time. It we went to time. we went to a party at Josh's house, and it was a food party. Basically, it was all food creators yeah. or something. I don't know. Not who, all food creators, but like the idea was for us to create food and invite people over to eat it. Mm -hmm. It was insane. It was, like, it was really good. It was like I just saw some salsas, and I'm like, yeah, it's gonna be some salsas. Like you know, I ate the salsa. I was like, this is gonna fuck my life up. Like I'm not gonna be able to eat salsa again. Ask Josh about the time he made me a grilled salad. A grilled salad? I, in, uh, this is an argument. This is an argument till this day. This is controversial. This is up in the mountains. We're going. Right? It is up in the mountains. How yeah. do you know that? I just know that fact. Okay. I listen. So yeah, sorry, I know that. I mean, we're bouncing around so many places, but it's okay. We're basically telling the history of Caper and mine relationship. Yeah. Yeah. And then we're yeah. fast friends, but good friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. No. If you were really well, there's wanting, some turmoil that's in there too. No. Yeah? If you want to get the, <laughs> so we can put downs. the salad aside. The first no, though. The first time. <laughs> Look at that swan. There's a little. <laughs> I wrote him off for a little bit. Yeah. I put him in timeout. Yeah. We'll yeah. get to that, that smart, in a second. Smart, we'll get to that, that in a second. Wait. Hold, hold on. on. <laughs> now I gotta crack the bottle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna be a roast session. Oh, she wanted some. Bro, we need a water. No, I don't drink. Josh, Josh, what Thank is you. what is what is the deal with or okay? If you guys like we haven't really got I've into Josh's history, but Josh is an amazing chef. What is the deal with orange wine? Also, my mom is in a, a constant competition with Josh to be a better chef than Josh. And it has been uh tumultuous. I can never tell if your mom hates me, no, loves mom. me, or just wants to defeat me. Yeah, she wants to, more she really likes you, but she also does not Cheers. want you to be a better Cheers. cook. It's so funny because Parents actually really love me. Oh yeah, yeah, except for one thing, but we won't go there. <laughs> <laughs> what if he did like a series where you like oh, you like fight people's moms with like their best dish, and you can make it, it better? I would love to say that that the priest on Poppy that K Caper's mom is the only mom <laughs> we that, have a good bleeder. that wants to like defeat me. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of moms exactly. that want to so defeat me. Make really? Kata out of it. Oh yeah, you can There's beat their people. asses. Eli's mom too. She was like, uh, "You won't make it better than this." Oh, really? What did she, she? make? A, what did she make on Fourth of July? Like, she made like a tabbouleh or something like that. And I was like, "Oh, this is good." You ever tried doing this? She's like, "Do I ever try doing that?" 
Relax. <laughs> Bro, you did you did go you did <laughs> Josh Mans playing Arabic to a Lebanese woman. I did. I really did. <laughs> He's like, you ever try putting the to bullet with the meat? And she's like, bitch, shut the fuck <laughs> up. Like calm, calm yourself. <laughs> um so we went up we went up to and uh it was it was during the pandemic i think it was me we just got vaccinated like but yeah, we were like was, still skeptical yeah like we i think just, some of us had like one of the did you ever vaccines. think about that like how fucked up it was yeah dude so remember the, okay we were so scared too do, do you remember there was, like, there was people in front of us playing beer pong yeah and they were like, come on us. over yeah. <laughs> like no nah, we're good we're good <laughs> we were watching we're like we'll watch you was fucking... and they were in the middle of the street they weren't even like near a house oh my god <laughs> so we go up me, Caper, and uh, Eli. If you don't know, Eli's uh, my twin uh, mm -hmm. brother. The the, uh, food the beast. owner of Food Beast. Yeah, yeah. my and cousin. It was great. We went up there for two or three days. We brought a bunch of alcohol. I, we went. We got. We went shopping for food. I brought my pizza oven. Mm -hmm. Dude, that was so. Good. I had those burgers that I mixed. Uh, I had short rib and uh, like a brisket, and I made burgers. Oh man. So we made pizza, we made burgers, and I was like, I want to make this grilled Caesar salad. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. right away, they're roasting me. Like, who fucking grills a salad? Roast. And it, I did it, and it was good, but I just, I can't, I, I can't say that it was still good to this day, because I think I was just suffering from altitude sickness, and I don't know if it was as good as this it. This motherfucker <laughs> with altitude sickness, it's He's not gotta that calm bad. Down. He's such a bitch. He's like, oh. Like I was up. Oh, did you see my cousin? Did you see my cousin? You saw how he was. I mean, he was, he was fucked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, the best is he was like, "There's no such thing as altitude sickness." His face goes like blood red, and he's like, "Yeah, I think I smoke too much." <laughs> nah, you are. <laughs> he's like, "I can't breathe, and I have heart palpitations, and I'm also going." <gasps> <laughs> I, so I made the grilled salad up there. Capri Sun Poppy talking shit. I made it again for TikTok and Instagram. I got obliterated. Really? <laughs> yeah. And then I was like, okay, listen, I like grilled salad. It's cool. But I, then I had to I had to get retribution, so I made you a legit Caesar salad. It was really good. It was really good. Yeah. They were both the, the thing is the grilled salad, like I never thought that you make some weird shit. Like you always make weird shit. And when I call you, I'm like, yo, was that good? You know, cuz he'll make something and he'll be like, I made like it's just for in, like cuz it's Instagram shit, yeah. right? You've transitioned from like picture content to fucking Mm -hmm. whole video yeah and you'll make something and then you're like is that good and you'll be like nah it's not good like he'll tell me like it's not good yeah but then sometimes he'll hit me up be like that shit fucking slap yeah you know it's i, I want to i would love to say that like a hundred percent of everything i make is amazing but that's just not the reality of it a lot of times i make stuff and it just doesn't work out like i don't test things i just in my mind i'm like okay this should work you yeah know? and if it doesn't Indivi I never use bad ingredients, so individually, like it'll be great. But if it doesn't turn out the way I want, like as a full package, then I'll call it a fail. What was the What was the best thing you've made recently? That's something different that you haven't, like, not like a dish you've already made. Something that, that I brand new that I've made yeah, recently. Yeah, I made cheesy gordita cupcakes. <laughs> oh my god! Was see, my acid reflux just hit hard just now. Yeah, welcome, bro. I shit, to my I, life. I, shit, <laughs> I shit myself in theory. <laughs> it was amazing. Uh, that was, I made that last week. What'd you make it out of? So basically I, it's not an actual cupcake. I, I call it a cupcake because I, I use a cupcake tray to cook oh, it. Right. Right. Um, it was a hard tortilla, like a, like a nacho chip at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And then I took a tortilla. I covered it in nacho cheese, taco beef, uh, hot sauce and spicy ranch, rolled it up, cut it into little cylinders put it on top of each one of the cupcake trays, which had the yeah. crunchy, right? Because yeah. the gordita has the crunch. Mm -hmm. Put more cheese on top of it, baked it, so it all kind of solidified. And then I topped it with lettuce and tomato. Amazing. Oh, no bean, though. There's no bean in the gordita. Oh, is, oh I don't that's know. That's an added hey. That's an added thing. Oh, hey, okay. hey, okay. buddy. No, I'm there's just, no I'm just asking. No bean I, was, I was like, oh, man, where do you, how do you get that, like, kind of, like, cupcake consistency where, you, like, it's kind of, like, soft, you bite into yeah. it? So I was like wondering, I was like, oh, did you throw a bean in there? But you didn't. So. I didn't. I, I, refi I mean, Eli's the bean and cheese guy. Yeah, let him, let him, yeah, he can have that. That's uh, true. He's on that. He can have that. Yeah, but um, I also made last week a chicken bacon ranch hot dog. Mm -hmm. So Hormel came out with ranch flavored bacon. Mm, Delicious. That I mean, amazing. you don't use pork products, so you don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, all three of you should not be eating pork products. It's only for me, dog. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. That's true. And then I wrapped the chicken dog in the 
ranch bacon and then I made a spicy chipotle ranch and mm -hmm. I fried onions and I put it all together and that was probably the best thing I've made in a long time. Do you think oh, yeah. eating hot dogs is a sign of mental illness? No, I love encased meat. Elaborate on that. Also, it was a chicken dog, so you, you can eat it. <laughs> oh, shit. Program, program, program. The best things are served in a case, obviously. That's true. Brogan has this theory that if you crave a hot dog, you're mentally ill at the time. Yeah. Okay. I only ever want a hot dog whenever I'm going through it. Okay. Here's my theory about calling me mentally ill. <laughs> Anyone who makes content for a living has a little bit of screws. What do you, yeah. What do you think about that? So... Yeah, Therefore, hot dogs all day. <laughs> hot dogs, corn dogs, any kind of dog. I fucking yeah. love hot dogs. I, I, I can sometimes I'll just go to Costco just for the hot dog. If I go to Costco, which I rarely do, but if I do, I'm getting a hot dog. It 100 took me a percent long of the time. time to kind of just enjoy a hot dog straight up. It had to have chili and cheese on it, no matter what. That's one of my favorite things. My favorite thing. But a Michigan, what's With a Michigan? the Coney dog? Yeah. Oh. It's like no cheese. It's just meat sauce. Meat Ooh. and onions. Ooh. Fuck I don't yeah. eat it. I mean, I get well, that. Yeah. Like in Canada, we call <laughs> Michigans that. Yeah. Because it comes from there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Same. Anywhere in Detroit, you can get it. Yeah. I've never heard of a Michigan. That's insane. Yeah. It's, it's basically a chili cheese dog. No, no cheese. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. With all these dishes that you make, do you end up actually finishing the food? Or are you kind of like a one bite? I got the content. I, I can't eat That's this. a really good question. So I have an assistant that helps me film. And he has three roommates and they're 25. Oh. So like their metabolism is like through yeah, the roof and speed them. Whatever I didn't slobber on or like you know mm -hmm. fondled, uh, he'll take home and yeah. Because sometimes no you waste. make like massive amounts of food, and yeah. I'm like, dude, there's no way he just keeps that in his are fridge. You are you kidding me? Yeah. Hell no. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, also I was gonna say too. I was like, damn, he's fucking. He's th he's thin for eating all. First this of all, food. I work out relentlessly every single day for like an hour and a half, two okay. hours every single day. What's your routine? It, I switch so it up like, monthly. Do you like Peloton or like I do, do Peloton do? every day. Uh huh. Yeah, twenty minute Peloton. I basically ride six miles a day. Oh yeah. And then I'll do like right now I'm on this like ninety day fitness program, mm -hmm. um, which I'll couple with like some core. Nice. Yeah. Cool. And also one meal a day. Just one. Yeah. Like a big one or just like. Well, if I like make something stupid. During the day, that's kind of like that's the, meal. the meal. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Because we can only imagine the glory. Like yesterday, <laughs> yesterday I made a fucking Frankenstein breakfast sandwich. What the? Fuck I, you don't even that? understand. You don't even understand what I like did. Like you took body parts from other people and put it together. No, you killed someone. Do you know? Who? Do you know what? You know what a quiche is? Which one? Yeah. Yeah. It's like a baked egg, yeah. kind yeah. of like tart like a pie almost. Yeah, yeah tart, kind yeah, of. Sure. So imagine that with bacon, egg, cheese. Tomatoes, jalapenos, sausage, and hash browns in a loaf pen. I'm just like, okay. I'm just drooling. I'll show you a picture. It was this the way, high. The, the was, way you said that, the way you did the drool. It's like, it's like it's no, like it was, yeah, yeah. yeah no, it wasn't a good Just fucking calm down. You're like, <laughs> but the way you did it, you're like, like nobody's was drooling. No, no, no the way you did it. I don't I'm not sure you did it. Yeah, you did. I didn't take a sip. The he's way been such, I did it, he's been such been a in, weirdo lately. Dude, are you kidding? Do you not see the way he did the drool face? Am I gonna yeah, eat all this by myself? No, you, I'm gonna have some as well. I don't eat salami. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not a you salami. You are a salami. Eater. All no. you do is think about salami. <laughs> yeah. a, I'm dude, rap. What, what, like what if you said it salami? I mean, come on. Ain't nobody gonna say nothing. What, what I fixed my lipstick like that? What if you like said that? it salam? Salam. Hey, salam. A, a salam. A salam. A salam. <laughs> a salam. <laughs> um, so I baked it in a loaf pan and then flipped it over and it was a loaf of all these ingredients and I sliced it into like sections and I placed it between two pieces of bread. And it was oh, damn. Wild. I can oh, show man. you. You want to see a picture? Yes. yes please. We were and we'll post it up here too for you yeah. guys to take a look at. All we the food we should be posting. Hold on. This is a video of me falling over drunk. <laughs> No, I gotta see that it's too. The We're craziest, gonna post that up as well. It's the craziest video. He won't post it. But it's first of all, this was it before I put it in the loaf pen. Oh my god! <laughs> it looks fake, right? <laughs> oh shit! Okay, that oh is. Oh my god! Okay, then I put it in the loaf pen. Then I put eggs mm -hmm. all over it. Oh my god! Then I baked it and cut it into sections, and it ended up looking like this. Oh, oh shit! That looks delicious. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Come that on. It's good. Yeah, it looks good. I make good things. Who needs Jimmy Dean when you got fucking Josh Elkin? <laughs> Josh Dean. Six minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah, we were talking before we started recording about my hatred of eggs. 
<laughs> this is I blasphemy. It's I like scrambled eggs, but whenever I eat them, sometimes I become like aware that like I'm eating an egg, and I just like can't eat it anymore. So mm. uh, animal awareness when talking about food is definitely a mental block. Like I'm I'm not even joking here. Like I get it. I get why people like don't want to eat something that was living or whatever it yeah. is. The interesting thing that I think about is like vegetables and like that type of stuff that was living at one point yeah. too right except it didn't have a soul mm -hmm. it didn't like have a voice right so i think that's kind of the difference between the two but if you break it down to like the like the bare basics of what the situation is it's like you're just drinking water yeah i mean i was vegetarian for a year and a half a couple years ago so like so before that i used to eat like all kinds of meats but then after that i only eat chicken but even then i feel weird about it no fish no Josh really just Josh really just said, you know, vegetarians are killing things too. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's I, I thought about it. This is all I had an intrusive thought. I could think about like if the plant had eyes, you would eat it. <laughs> you know, all you have to do is put like little googly eyes on a plant and be like, that's a, if if plants had eyes, would you feel the same way? <laughs> if it just looked at you like like right before you were about to chop it down, like no, like no that's one's broken. If it had eyes, she'd just cry. Honestly, yeah, I know she's cried at a really snail one time. Have you ever seen this? What? Frogan uh, one time pulled up a video, I think, of like a snail. But the snail, sometimes snails, when they when their eyes are like really big, they're they're human eyes. Yeah, when they're like this. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So there was, <laughs> That's this so was weird. Like, this was a close up of like a snail's eye, and it was like a human eye. It looked too human, and she had a full mental breakdown. It was live so on ugly because I was, and then I literally was like, "How do people eat these things?" <laughs> <laughs> How do fucking people eat these? <laughs> I'm losing it. This was my breaking point. This fucking snail. The snails <laughs> that we eat aren't the snails that you see. Yeah, it's a but different it's still thing. so what, sad. What kind of snail is it? Like an escargot, which is like French cuisine snail. Those are like specific types of snails. They, they grow them the, in a farm, right? Yeah, they're not the same as like, you know, like, like they grow, uh, you know, like oysters on a farm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that, it's that type of shit. You know, yeah. a, a slug that you see like climbing up your banister. It's not the same same type of like snail that we eat. I do. I to, can I be honest? I fucking love escargot. It's it's drenched in butter. It's yeah. It's and it's, if you have it au gratin, it's you know what it is. Yeah, you know what it is though. It's it's ground lobster. It kind of tastes like chewy, like a lot. It's a, it's, a, it's a little bit more chewy than lobster. Well, it's got that fishy. It's got that sea fishy taste. Sea, sea, weird sea -y taste. It's also in lobster a, or or crab. Which is your which is your pick? Crab. Me too. One hundred percent. Well, lobster everyone sucks. I speak to lately. Is like, I'll take crab over lobster. Can I be honest? You don't have it. I've never had it before. You've so, never had crab before? No. It's the best have you shit had lobster? ever. I've had imitation crab. That's oh, not, that's, that's not awful. Crab. It's that's not, actually, yeah. it's not the it's same. A different thing. So like before it used to be like, so Islam has like really weird rules when it comes to meat and like seafood and shit. It's like, I think we can only eat shit that has like gills or something like that. Yeah. Like you can eat fish, not uh, crustaceans. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You so, can eat shellfish? No. Yeah, no. But like. By the way, like kosher, Jew, like in Judaism, kosher, same thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't eat shellfish? Mm -hmm. No, it's bottom feeders. Mm -hmm. That's the, They're dirty. Like, and know? that's why you can't eat pork, because they're mm -hmm. dirty. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> and plus, <laughs> plus I don't, I don't all, eat dude. seafood now anyways, yeah. but like, yeah, I've only ever had like imitation crab growing up. So I forgot what type of fish that is, but it's not even real. It's not real anything. Mm -hmm. it's, I, it's like, it's a, like I fish think protein, it's red, right? It's red, no, it's red fish. It's... God, I used to know it's, because I used to too, feed it I forgot. to my, I used to feed it to my uh, fish. What are you talking about? Like imitation? imitation crab? Yeah. But it's fish protein is what they call hold it. On, they but it's, it's made out it. of a fish. Yeah, it's like made a out cheap of something. Fish, and then they just dye it. Oh. What's crazy about lobster that people don't know is lobster is a delicacy now. But back in the day, they didn't cook lobster fresh. It used to wash up on shore. And it was disgusting because it was rotting and they would feed it to prisoners in the United States. So it was yeah. considered. A so that's food. actually a, a fact. It was not only did they it was it was an abundance. So it's there like was crazy. too much of it. Yeah. So they use it. And oysters were the same thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Both of those. So there was prison food. Now you fast forward 100 years later, 150 years later. Now it's all of a sudden a delicacy. Yeah. I refuse. I refuse to believe that. I hate. Like, that. you know why crab is so expensive? Because it takes a lot of effort to get like to Dungeness get crab or like yeah. snow. Blue crab. Like, I love crab, dude. I can love it. Crab is my favorite, food, like top five favorite foods. It has to be like a good crab, though. And and the thing about crab is crab. Good crab tastes like seawater and lemon. Like it's like very salty, very seawater, very pro protein seawater, briny, briny. It's very mm -hmm. like salty. Yeah. And then like lobster is like kind of a fatty, 
Like you, it's you dip it in butter, it's rubbery. It's rubbery. The uh, rubber is what gets me on lobster. Yeah. I mean, crab. I can I can eat crab all day. It's, I mean, I also like food that you have to work for too. My brother and I are the same way on this. Like if I, you give me crab legs, and I like finally get to that meat, and I'm like, oh man, I worked hard for. You fuck with uh, crawfish. I've, I've actually never claw, done crawfish because that's an effort. I love crawfish. It takes like effort. Rip the tail, suck the head. You gotta you suck it, but it's like it doesn't yield a lot of. Frogan's turning right now. She's like yeah. all these disgusting things. Let's talk about <laughs> salad. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 no, it's just What's like your favorite chicken nugget. <laughs> no, I do. Okay, this is my guilty McDonald's. pleasure. <laughs> no, listen. Wing house, twenty piece. Wing stop, fucking hot honey slaps. No, but lately my guilty pleasure on TikTok is watching people crab punt. Um, crab like deep crab sea? punt what? like crab deep hunt. sea. Oh, hunt. yeah, it's on the boat when they're like swaying, no, like waves they're, they're crashing just, over them. No, they're just like on the beach and they're like they put like a oh yeah, and they can pull it in. Then they have to measure it, and if it's not like seven inches, they have to put it back in the ocean. Oh, I do the same shit. Oh, it's I like watch. Oh, you watch that. <laughs> you watch. You watch. <laughs> Singer. <laughs> 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 dude, he fucking got you, man. Yeah, dude. dude, he fucking got you. Oh, <laughs> what were you saying? I was gonna say you watch that guy on TikTok that's like all about lobster. He'll like pull them up and then like show them, and it's fucking weird. Mm -hmm. It's like a, it's a lobster fisherman. I've been watching lobster talk, okay, or, or crab talk. Crab talk slaps. He wants to be me so bad. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I was, I was just trying to add to what you were saying, Frogan. For the love of God, I'm just saying. I like deadliest catch. That's a good show. See? It was a great show. So game. last two weeks ago, I made crab cake shot glasses stuffed with remoulade. I saw that. That looked delicious. Fucking good. Yeah. It, so it I, looks... come, I have one idea. I get a fucking mold, a, a shot glass mold, and then mm -hmm. all of a sudden there's like tw 20 videos that are yeah. shots. You know? Oreo shots, stuff with milk. Amazing. Fucking breakfast shots. The crab cake one, I was like, wow. That, I could see that like at a restaurant. I'd be like, all right, I, I'm down. We'll yeah. try that out. Yeah. Someone will do it. Mm-hmm. Not give me any credit. Why don't you just open up your own <laughs> restaurant? Wait, how many times? How many times? Because you know what's you know what no one's ever said. Opening a restaurant was the best decision it's I ever the did. Worst no, I've worked, in, I've worked in restaurants my whole life. I think it's the shittiest business in so the bad. entire it's world. The worst industry. But damn, it'd be nice to have. Maybe like a food truck would be pretty sick. No, you fucking took the words right out of my I'm mouth. I'm sorry. You can say it. We'll, we'll reverse. You know what it, I'd rather do? I'd rather <laughs> I'd rather collaborate with like an established restaurant to yeah. make a menu item. You never came, but back yeah, in the day, yeah, I did yeah. that in LA. Yeah, I made a whole. I made like four items that were uh, that were it in six restaurants across LA. Mm -hmm. It was not only lucrative for me; it was a cool flex. Mm -hmm. I got I got to like work with the chef. I don't know how to make food for a restaurant, like for service. Yeah, it's different, so, dude. So my yeah, so my whole thing is like, here's the idea, here's how I make it. Now execute it as you would if you had to serve a lot of people. Right. I don't want to pretend like I know what I'm doing. There. Right, right, right. You know, my my brain is more like thinking outside the box when it comes well, to you're food. you're an artist. That's the, that's the thing. What's the difference As between not, restaurant food and, and like what you make at home? Like what would be the difference like if you had to like transition that to a restaurant? So when you make restaurant food, you got to make it to scale, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? You got to like make it as if you can serve, let's say 200 people, something. Mm -hmm. My at things that I make are one-offs, you know? Yeah. They're one-off things, so. Well, I know that I know that because when I was younger, my parents had a restaurant and yeah. they would make like specials. That's how you make your one-offs. Like I'll make a special. It's only going to be a hundred like, Still though, for, that's the scale. It, it, I'm making one yeah. of one. Yeah, you know? true, true, true. Like the true. crab cake thing can make sense because it is just a mold, and you can just do that in prep. That's actually really easy because yeah. you could do it. You can like and you freeze, freeze it, it and, and then just, just fry it. Fry. Yeah, yeah. It was, that, that those are that's a different story. That's, right. Those are right, super right, right. easy. My breakfast items also super easy mm -hmm. because I'm not I'm not making anything. My whole style of cooking is path of least resistance. Yeah, right. Like I try and make uh, it so I try and make it so like anyone can. You want to take a break? Yeah. Well, let me just go. But move it over. All right, right, yeah. On. Well, yeah, yeah, we'll. Yeah, keep going. My whole thing is like, I want to make food look like it's amazing, mm. but for anyone to do, regardless of the skill you have. Right. And like the elites kind of hate on that. Mm. Like, I'm bastardizing food and combining cultures and. Yeah, I mean, there's authentic. always going to be people, I mean, like, cause there are, uh, the, I'm assuming the people who are, like, the elitist or the elite have, like, gone through their training, have gone, like, oh, I've gone through, like, a Michelin star program, I've done chef school, yeah. I went to France, you're, 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 everything you're doing is sacrilege to what I've yeah. learned, it's not proper, which is bullshit, it's cooking, you know what I mean? I mean, like, why shouldn't it be, like, this is new, this is cool, I'm not going to cook the same old fucking, fucking, uh, I don't even know, I don't even fucking know. It doesn't, the thing is, for me, is, like, I'm not, I don't. 
I'm not pretending to like be the best chef. I'm not pretending yeah. to like have all the education. Yeah. I'm also not pretending. I'm not pretending to be authentic because right. the word authenticity to me when it comes to food is kind of stupid because what's authentic to you in whatever culture or whatever things you you knew how to eat mm -hmm. and whatever's authentic to you in the same, it's never going to be the same. Right. right. Like if you take 10 people from one geographical location and you tell them to make that dish, like everyone, everyone's like heritage and everyone's like, like, let's say family history is going to make it slightly different. 100%. Like even the way, like, let's say like your mom or your dad, whoever was cooking in your household, however they made it is a, Kind of the way your taste is going to do. Because that's what's authentic to yeah. you. So authenticity is not the right thing. Mm -hmm. Like if you're saying that's not authentic, I'd be like, well, it's authentic to me. Yeah. Like if I've been making my eggs this way and you've been making your eggs that way, then mm -hmm. then who's right or wrong? There isn't. Yeah. Nothing's right or wrong. It's what you know and what right. you do. And my whole style of cooking is like borrowing from cultures. Like I use this culture and I mix it with that culture and I choose to do it this way and I then do it that way. And my whole thing at the end of the day is, is it good? Yeah. Cool. Move on. Yeah. You know? I mean, because even right now, you're you're on this taco journey from what I've been seeing recently. I don't know if that's something you're still kind no, of that's doing. Old, that's or, old school. That's old school. Yeah. But you went on this taco journey from what I saw, and it, it was just adapting other cultures, but for this one thing. Yeah. All right, cool. Taco is a staple pretty much everywhere. You know what I mean? It's a, it's huge. It's Mexican culture. It's Spanish culture. All right, that's that's their staple. Let me grab other staples from other cultures and see if I can mix it together. I thought that was pretty... The thing with the taco thing was, and just so everyone knows, basically for two years, every single Tuesday, I made a different style taco mm -hmm. using different muses, if you yeah. will. And a lot of people came at me and were like, it's just folded food. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah. I had this guy that I actually met in real life like a couple weeks ago with Eli, actually. <laughs> yeah. And he was la laughing at me, be like, dude, I'm the guy. And I was like, you're the fucking guy? Really? He's like, yeah, I was just trying to like him. protect my culture. I'm like, it had nothing to do with your culture. Yeah. Yeah, but tacos, it has not, you're missing the point here. Yeah, it has you nothing know? to do with it. Like, you're it's missing it. It's just folded food is crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not a taco, it's just folded food. Okay, you're missing the idea. No shit, it's a fucking key lime pie donut. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just, just trying to reset it. I just did it. Why, you're you doing just 30, did it like 30 minutes, minutes ago. ago. You could change that. <laughs> yeah. I'm just doing reset some more. It's fine, it's fine. All right, all right. <laughs> you got another bottle I'm of wine sorry. or what? Do we? Do you? I don't. You know what I do Rookie? have? Rookie? What, whiskey? Uh, Tequila? Do I have anything? We're going for Arab food later, so like, let's get lit. Do I have anything lit. on me? It's fine. I have, uh, I have like a can of like Jack and Coke, no, no, no. Jameson, no, no, and no, no, Ginger. No, no. Yeah, no, that. I'm sorry. I'm the worst. I'm the worst ringer. Guy tells me writer, what's your why writer? didn't you get him you what he wanted? He did, did. Got, got only did, one of them, but like, I only got him. I thought one. I was gonna face that. To be fair, I think we're gonna share the wine with you. I'm just happy that you shared it for what sure. I'm not gonna drink alone. I'm well, happy that you guys I are drinking know, too. I don't know what's really going on in your life right now. Here he comes. You annoy There's food on the floor. Here he comes. Eat it. Let him eat it. He's a bitch. Let him eat it. Don't eat the food, Miles. Miles is here. Miles is here, ruining the day again. Here he comes. He's wiggling. He's gonna start fighting people. All right, there he goes. No, you're good. You're good. If he so, eats it, let him eat it. No, know? but honestly, like I see some of the food you post on Instagram, and I'm a picky eater. So, I'm, and some of the times I'm just like, damn, I, I would it. eat that. No. <laughs> no. Well, I don't always use I don't always use meat and cheese. Like sometimes, it'll just, yeah. like The other day, I posted cinnamon roll, banana, banana, banana dolce de leche stuffed cinnamon. Uh, yeah. French toast pockets. You would eat that. Yeah. Of course, it's delicious. Right. But cheese and meat is definitely something that I that I go in on. Back to the tacos for a second. So what I would do is, like, I would take a culture, like, for example, um, we were talking about Arabic cuisine earlier, sure, right? Yeah. So, uh, like, I made a shawarma taco, mm -hmm. which is, like, a fucking, think about it, really. Like, a uh, shish -uk or a shawarma wrap is essentially the same thing that I did. I just formed yeah. it in, this, in the way yeah. of a taco. Yeah. But... I took it to a place. Instead of making the pita the um the, the like the, 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 the tortilla, yeah. I made the tortilla out of meat and then stuffed it yeah. with tabule and topped it with fried pita. I think I added like uh yeah, couscous crunch. in there. Yeah. Too. I was gonna say. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> that was a fun time though. I I took it to a place. Like I made fucking key lime pie donut uh, tacos. I made mm. uh, Indian. Are you guys familiar with Indian cuisine? At yeah. All? Yes. So like Indian cuisine, is some of my favorite cuisine. There's a thing the called. Best lamb vindaloo but they also do chicken the vindaloo, vindaloo. Yeah. and then there's an onion bhaji which is essentially like an indian um f- like onion fritter yeah, yeah so yeah. i made the taco shell out of onion bhaji stuffed it with chicken vindaloo and made like a mango chutney to put on top mm. it's one of my favorites i will mm. say i think indian food is one of the best cuisines out there i completely agree i fucking love 100 vegetable pakoras i could fuck them up so good fuck them up what's a pakora it's like a, it's kind of like a curry in a way. No, that's the vegetable fritters. Like it's like literally fried like onions, uh, potato. Oh, 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 oh. oh, like the not the uh, not the samosa. It's yeah. more like a fritter. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Where you, you? I'm not gonna say where you live. There's a place in Glendale mm-hmm. called Namaste Market. Mm-hmm. It's an Indian grocery store. Also, they have like food there, that, like ready to buy food. You love Indian food. Oh, you yeah. fucking Namaste. gotta go. Yeah, there. we have to go. It is. So good. It's brought to you by our sponsor, Namaste. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I grew up on Indian food. Where I'm from um, in Montreal, there's a vast Indian culture. Two of my best friends are Indian. They're brothers and their mom. Mm-hmm. They're first generation, so their parents are from India. Mm-hmm. And their mom makes the dopest Indian food out there. Always vegetarian. She's a vegetarian. Yeah. Right. So, and like that's the type of shit. It's like it's so saucy and flavorful. And like you got the paneer cheese and the garlic naan. And like it's just... It doesn't matter. It's not meat, you know. Yeah, yeah. I tried paneer recently. I Had, actually really liked it. There's no flavor. Yeah, I it's mean, whatever you put it on it. Yeah, so I got a paneer. Is it almost like a plant based, like almost like a? Soy? It's like no, a cheese. it's cheese. Straight oh, up. It's like okay. a firm cheese. Yeah. I got yeah. paneer tikka masala. It's kind of like halloumi, but like with no flavor. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. And I was like, huh? I was like, okay. It's not as. I, I, it kind of threw me off. I was like, ew, like cheese taste with like Indian food. I couldn't get with it. But it doesn't taste like cheese. Yeah, but then I tried it before I moved because. Uh, Michigan has a really big like Pakistani Indian mm-hmm. uh, population. Like one of my best friends is like Pakistani Lebanese. So like I grew up eating Pakistani food, and my sister and I tried it, and I was like, oh damn, like this slaps. Yeah, it's actually really fucking good. Cause in cause garam or masalas rather, which is essentially like a spice blend, mm-hmm. another word for spice blend, they kill that move. Like they have the yeah. best spice blends out there, mm-hmm. and I fucking love that shit. Curry powder, garam masalas. Like, I love it so much. It's some of my favorite foods, for sure. I made a butter chicken pizza the other day. So fucking good. Stop. I mean, I can go on. I have thousands of recipes. I've been doing this for 13 years. You ever thought about, like, taking the next step? Like, maybe, like, per, I don't know if you have done this already or are thinking about it, but making a recipe book. I mean, not necessarily, like, you need to have that because you have Instagram and Snapchat. and I thought about it. I mean, I'm, well. I'm already a published author. Okay, I icon. Talk about that. You forgot to put that in your uh, intro. Yeah, you forgot to put that. He's What's published. the published author? Epic Mealtime book. Okay, yeah. Well, Simon well, and Schuster. Well, I, wanted to st- I wanted to start with your history because that was something that's important to me. I wanted to talk about it. Also, okay. the dog's crate broke and snapped in half right now. That's why he's stuck in here. <laughs> when I went to go move it, it snapped in half. He's so broke. irritating. You know you love him. I hate your dog. <laughs> really? I hate your dog. We all love him, but he's also a little bitch. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> you just met him, John. <laughs> and I can already know this. <laughs> Uh, no, I want to. I, I think that I think for the people at home who don't know, you know, who may not know, you wh- where did you get your start? Because I want to I want to talk about this because me and you have had this conversation in parts. We never had like a formal conversation. Mm-hmm. But how'd you get your start, like in the content game? Because you're probably the person who's been doing content at a high level the longest I know, and you're the person that I ask about shit that's going on in the game. So, um, you start? so we started. I started in two thousand nine, two thousand ten. Um, uh, with uh, Epic Meal Time, which, if you don't know, was a big, the number one food channel online before Instagram, before Snapchat, mm-hmm. before anything. Like, it was kind of low hanging fruit. Like, no one else did it, so we were the first. You know, and you guys were doing crazy. People. We used to make like ridiculously sized, like grotesque food items. It's like kind of an McDonald's, extension of what I still do. Lasagna, yeah, like that stuff. The fucking yeah. triple meat log, yeah. like uh, breakfast of fortress. Yeah, just like yeah, crazy shit. You crazy know? shit. What did uh, you guys do with that food? <laughs> oh yeah, that's actually a good question. Did you guys actually did you eat that? So, Epic Meal Time. We were a group of eight guys, yeah. and every guy had like a role. It was so like organic. Like we were just mm-hmm. we all grew up in like uh, two streets away from each yeah, other. Yeah, yeah. And everyone knew someone and sort of like knew of the other person. And when we all got together, 
we had eight personalities. Like it was completely different people. And I just fell into the role of cooking because everyone else was kind of scared and didn't necessarily know what they were doing. I had a little bit of knowledge, but not really anything. And at that point, I was just like, let's just try it. If it works, it works. Yeah, because I mean, you didn't, you didn't grow up really cooking. I mean, like, no. I think like your mom was the one who was like doing all the cooking, would not let you cook How at you all. How do you know this? Right? Did a little research. <sighs> kind of like Sean Evans shit is going on here. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I did a little research. <laughs> yeah, yeah research. seriously. A little research on I also boy. sent him pictures of you. Yeah. What? Old no, 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 my baby. No, it's, no, my baby. I, I told him. I'm I mean, like, I was a little boy when we started Epic Meal Time. I had no sh beard. I was like, I have pictures mm. of Josh that if I ever show, I will well, literally I don't never need, see I, I didn't need pictures of me. I, I watched you. I was I've like, all right, cool. Pictures. What I've do you have? Uh, yeah. Do you have stuff? We'll talk about it after. Put it up here right now. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah, put it up here. Let's see so it. So we started making crazy food online. We became super popular, super fast. Uh, again, we were just the first. So like, mm. no one was really doing it. So it was kind of low hanging fruit. Uh, which I would never take away. Like that was, it was really, really cool. I was just say, gas yourself up. I mean, don't make me well, fucking no, love yourself, myself right now. Job. We don't, all know he can't do it. I so could talk good. really good about myself. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't make yeah. me fucking sound like a douchebag. Trying to be humble. Oh, dude, this is what <laughs> trying to be humble is what we're here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then we did that. I mean, so we started doing that. We were getting yeah. mi literally millions of views a day. Um, and um, out of the eight guys, there was there were two, three guys that would like eat the shit for real. Mm -hmm. Like for they real. would take it home. And eat it. Oh, you my know? God. Keep in mind, at that point, um, we were eight of us, and seven of us lived at home with their parents, though. Mm -hmm. I was the only one that lived on my own. Isn't, I had a, I had a corporate got, job. Isn't that how you got into it? Yeah, so the job. only reason I joined Epic Mealtime was because they filmed two videos. I hit up Harley, who was the host and owner of the, of the show, and I was like, dope video. Where are you filming the next one? I have the conversation still. It's on Facebook. He's like, I don't know. Your house? And I was like, I'm down only if I can cook the meal. And he was like, do you know how to cook? And my answer was, I know how to cook better than you guys. <laughs> and he's like, all right, bet, let's go. And then from the fourth episode until, I mean, five years later, it was predominantly at my house. Like you see the old videos, it's my my actual house. Yeah, I sold off that place. And um, yeah, I just started doing it and that turned into, we got our own TV show. Uh, which we filmed two seasons of, which was mm. fucking sick. It's still on Hulu right now. It's, it's, still, still, Hulu, it's still around. People yeah. hit me up not long. You you did. You're like, I turn on Hulu and I see your face. <laughs> I do. I didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, yeah. And then I we I wrote a cookbook and then I wrote a second cookbook mm -hmm. and it was published. So like that's where I was a published author. It's and then cool. you also got a show on uh, Food Network. So I transitioned uh, Epic Meal. Epic Meal time kind of like ended in a bit of turmoil. We all kind of like started resenting each other and hating each other sure and that's what happens when money gets involved yeah you know sort of that sort of stuff which is like it is what it is and um i transitioned from that i leveraged that to get my own show on cooking channel and food network mm -hmm. which was a competition baking show that i was the host of called sugar showdown. sugar showdown and it was like a weird experience it was a cool experience and i would never take it away but it was like a weird like robotic experience where they, like I wanted to have this sole personality. I wanted to wear like street clothes and like kicks and all this stuff because that's what I do. And they were like, "No, we want we love that, but we want you to be more of like a host." So it was like a weird so, version of me. Yeah, you know. Well, it was kind of like you left corporate, went to do like your own creative thing with a group of people, and then kind of went back into corporate creativity. Which is it was it was yeah. So corp, I was a corporate salesman before. Yeah. Then Epic Meal Time was studio. like this whole ran a, random recording studio. Yeah. Weren't you doing, weren't you doing uh, printers? So I was selling. I was I was a district sales manager for a printing company. Yeah. It was honestly the best job. Like my bosses were in we were in another state. Yeah, I was making a shitload of money. I had no office. All I had to do was travel around Quebec, which is essentially the state in Canada, a state in Canada province, and I didn't have to go anywhere at all. I could do whatever the fuck I want as long as the work was done. I was mm -hmm. making tons of money. Quit that. Did that two years into Epic Meal Time, so I moonlighted, mm -hmm. right? Working, so I would take vacation from the corporate job to work Epic Meal Time, mm. and then did Epic Meal Time, left, and then essentially went back into TV, which is you know very corporate, right? And then I did that for a couple of years. I went on a whole bunch of television shows, Chopped, Cutthroat Kitchen, Guys Grocery Games, etc. And then that's when. Fucking Facebook streaming started, and then I got I started then, which is the same time the taco thing started. Yeah, that's when I met you. That's when we met. Yeah, you want to hear something funny about the my meeting? That's yeah, so annoying. Or Caper and I meeting? Yeah. Uh, we met at my first place when I lived in L.A. with his cousins. Yeah. We all hung out. We all got drunk. 
And then the th- next two times after that that I met him, I reintroduced myself to no, him. No, you did the same thing to all of us. <laughs> I probably yeah. did. Yeah. Yeah. He did That's it. Good. He did it to me three times. But what's crazy about Josh is that I met him and like we sat on top of each other for like a drive. Yeah. Like in a three fucking in the back. car, three in the back, like in a truck, and we're squished. And you would think you would remember a human. You Look know? what his name is still on my phone. <laughs> 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 so this fucker, this fucker goes. His name on my phone is Caper Eli's cousin. <laughs> <laughs> For seven years. Yeah. Dude, it's so fucking funny. So he goes, so like, he goes, hey, I'm Josh Helk. And I was like, yeah, dude, we fucking met. Like, <laughs> like we, five we hung out last week. We hung out last week. <laughs> But the funniest thing about Josh is I remember we were walking through LA and Josh just literally like literally thinks I'm an idiot. Okay. But doesn't know that like I have a job, like a serious job. Had no idea. In fact, in fact, thought you were uh, just a total dunce. Yeah. He just thought I was like a, a, like a, I think Josh thought I was a, a groupie, you know, like a, like an internet groupie or just like, I think I turned to Eli and I was like, dude, this guy's a fan of me. (laughs) 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 <laughs> Which I didn't know. I didn't know who Josh was. So Josh just goes, "My show, yeah, my show." And I just go, "Okay, cool, dude. I don't care." Like at the time, I was so removed from the internet. Like I really was. Like off. it was a different time back then. I, I was really not in the internet at all before I've, the internet, especially not to this capacity. No, mm-hmm. no, I wasn't. Like people ask me, like, "Did you have a Twitter? Did you have this?" I was like, "I didn't have any." This is of that. 2017. I, yeah. Dude, I didn't have like. It's even literally an, like Instagram. six years after like YouTube became a thing. You know? I've been on the internet since I've been twelve since I was twelve years old. What kind of internet? Everything. How old are you? Uh, 27. So 15 years ago? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like uh, MSN. Well, it's like Twitter, YouTube, She's Tumblr. talking about like the platforms, dog. Not like you're, you're trying 15 to 15 years ago. Not, so like not when AOL. I started my career. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 2009. She, had, she didn't have like dial-up AOL or whatever you had in fucking Canada. Oh, you she don't had. even know what dial-up is. Yeah, no, she don't even know. <laughs> I never used it. I go so deep into the internet. Even we yeah. weren't even allowed to have, I have AOL. A, I, have a confession. I wasn't. Yeah, I MSN. <laughs> I have a confession. So <laughs> I went to Playlist Live in 2014. Oh I was there. I used Epic Mealtime's meet and greet to sneak into the Dan and Phil meet and greet that was I right next door. I think you told me tell that. You. I know Dan and Phil personally, by the way. They're good guys. <laughs> they were my favorite YouTubers They are ever. really good guys, for sure. Good for ever. you. So we probably met without even meeting. Like, grazed arms. Is like, that crazy? Mm-hmm. 15, uh, 10 years later, yeah. here we are. I was, 16, I was 16 years old, I think. Frogan. Are you kidding me? In high school. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I've known Frogan longer than I've known, than I've known paper. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> no, dude, like the, I saw you post a picture with like Joey Graceffa the other day. I was like, oh, oh yeah. my God. Like, I was I with to, the OGs. Yeah, I used to watch like Joey way back in the day. I was like so into YouTube. Yeah, that's OG mm-hmm. YouTube shit. Who's, who's your favorite OG? What was YouTube? Okay, here's the deal. Here's the deal that I want to say because we're talking about OG stuff. You have a podcast now called mm-hmm. Full Discourse. Okay, and we brought you on because uh, you're my friend and you have to come on because whatever I say goes. And but also because we like your show, we want to promote we your also, show. Sure, we you also do. love your show. <laughs> but you're doing a podcast, which when you told me, dude, I was like, "This is gonna be fucking sick." It's you're talking, you're talking to OG YouTubers in the food space yeah. about what OG YouTube is like. It's not necessarily just OG. So the podcast is called Full Discourse. It's not necessarily just OG YouTubers. It's yeah. just we're talking, we're trying to archive food on the internet from the people who were there. Mm-hmm. So, for example, I'm gonna invite this guy who's the first food blog ever, 1997. Oh, wow, shit. he's still doing it. What the fuck? What is it? Yeah, I forgot his name, but he's he's gonna come up. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to get we're trying to get him. But no, like um, the reason I came up with this idea is because I'm I'm still doing it. I'm still like in the food space. Yeah. I'm meeting all these like young and TikTokers and these like this like Gen Z generation of like food influencers who don't know who I am. But then I say Epic Meal Time, and they're like, Oh my god, I knew I knew who you were. Like half the time I meet these guys, they're like, how do I know you? I'm like, remember every real time? They're like, oh my God. Cause they were like, they're like, my brother used to watch that. My older brother used to watch that because they're so fucking young. And then they start asking me questions about like how it was back in the day. Like what was the landscape? Mm. Like, was it crazy? Cause keep in mind, like at that point, the only way to like make videos was YouTube. There yeah. was nothing else. Now there's a plethora of, yeah. of social media platforms. And then it got me thinking like, oh, this is actually a really good, interesting thing to talk about because this, these people want to hear the stories about back in the day. So, yeah. they, so they've been inviting people who were like there through the transitions and through the history of it to talk about various like internet food experiences. 
Dude, I was watching clips of your pod, and I was—I think it was uh, Rosanna Pensi, you know, was doing the uh, was talking about how YouTube now is like pay, like a lot yeah. of people are paying, pay, pay to play, which is crazy, which I didn't even know. I but, mean, if you think about what YouTube has become in the in the, like the the way the evolution of internet content has been created, yeah, YouTube is essentially what television was when YouTube started. Mm. Yeah, no, it's become Netflix. It's become mainstream, yeah. ma- mainstream media. <clears throat> All the biggest television shows and biggest like IPs in the entertainment space have YouTube channels. Yeah, I mean, so you, it's not like a random person making. Yeah, but when videos. you guys, you guys are like the Epic Meal Time stuff was probably one of the first brands back then mm-hmm. because it wasn't just like a PewDiePie, like a guy playing. No, video it was games. it was a, it was a brand. It was a brand. Like Philip DeFranco was just. Sexy Phil. Sexy Phil, yeah. You know, he was just doing his... Now like, he's a brand. He's a brand now, but yeah. he wasn't a brand then. Like, now YouTube is all brands, but so back then it was just people. Before, you guys were a brand. Before we started... Before we started... You missed it. I know. Before... <laughs> before... I just thought... I think I'm getting, like, salami <laughs> grease on my pants here. I'm using my pants. As, before we started... <clears throat> so today, everyone's, like, creating a brand for themselves. Yeah, mm-hmm. everything's a brand now. But when we started, we were the first people to do that. Yeah. We were also the first people to do collaborations ever. Like we collaborating on YouTube wasn't a thing until we did it. Our first one was with Freddie Wong. Epic VFX time. You say oh, damn, wow. but I know this so much because Josh will be like, hey, you're collabing. And I go, yeah. He goes, you got that from me. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, we started that, right? <laughs> I'm like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> dude, I got to tell you, I, I'm not butthurt about this by any means, but half the time I see people making shit on the line, in the food space, I'm like, ha, did that in 2016. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever heard of Cedric Lorenzen? No. He's my favorite food TikToker. Really? Yeah. What does he do? I'll show you. Don't tell me he does food reviews because that's not a fucking no, food No, it's not right. what he does. You'll like this, I think. Yeah? Yeah, I think you'll like it. Who's your favorite food TikToker right now currently? I mean, I, I spend more time on Instagram, to be honest with you. Well, I don't I spend more time on Instagram, too. Yeah, but who's I your favorite well. Instagrammer? So, My favorite Instagrammer right now, like, uh, in terms of what? Like, creativity? Like, there's this guy, like George, George Kitchen. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah, George. That, like, yeah. blows me out of the water. Okay. Like, his, okay. his brain and my brain are the same, except his production value is... Yeah, his production value is kills it. insane. My buddy, Daniel Williamson, you guys met him? The black guy that was in my house? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. His videos are sick. Like there, he he chooses he pairs a really good vibe of of cooking and a and a song and he makes them together and he's just mm. so smart with that and his food That's is great. Sick. It's amazing. Here, Let's see this. We'll put the video up for you guys as well. Oh, I know this guy. I don't. You know he does that alone. Really? Yeah. He's recording. Yeah. All the whip whip shots and like the whip cuts and everything. Yeah, he, he's like the sexy chef. Everything's yeah, like yeah, a, everything's chef. like a, it's like F- a yeah, erotic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know that's blowing up on Instagram. I mean, on TikTok, there's multiple of them now. Yeah, the, the the one thing that I don't like about where food social media is has gone is that nothing's unique anymore. Nothing's interesting. I talk about this with Eli all the time. Like, it's not interesting. You're doing the same video. Everyone's mm. gonna make the same video, making the same. You know thing. what? It, you know what it feels like from YouTube to TikTok, being like kind of a, a boomer on the internet or someone who watched it for a long time. It feels like they're just recycling old YouTube ideas, putting it on TikTok in short form, and then just reselling it. And then like Gen Z is like, "Oh, this is fucking sick!" It's like, yeah, but this is our. This has been on YouTube for like ten years. One hundred percent repackaging. That's Dude, all, when that's we started having meal time, we were making the most ridiculous, unique shit. Yeah. And now you fast forward to today. 15 years later, because mm-hmm. it's been 15 years, which is a crazy how long concept. You been in this, how, how long have you been doing content? 15, 14 years. 14 yeah. years? Yeah. That's wow. insane. Yeah. You're the, you're, you are the longest person I know has ever been doing content. And I'm fortunate. Honestly, I'm fortunate. I've been level. able to bob and weave. It, sometimes it's hard, it's hard to you know, figure it out. I, the podcast is, an, is a step forward in the direction of evolution. Well, the, here, here's another thing that I wanted to talk to you about, and I, I would be pissed if I didn't. You were also Snapchats like go to my brother has a career because of you basically yeah you were snapchat's first person that ever did a show and they just what they hit you up one day so the snapchat thing is interesting because i tell people about snapchat and and if you're not like a gen zer right now like if you're not gen z right now you're like snapchat is still a thing Mm -hmm. yeah but it's actually the fastest growing social network platform 
today. Mm-hmm. Um, when Snapchat started in 2012, I believe, really all it was was like dick pics and like hookups. Yeah. yeah. You know? And then they kind of- yelling. Yeah. <laughs> he's all like, right. check me out. Been there, done that. Raph, yeah. dick pics. I've never done that. I've never done that either. But- um, I've seen it. You know what though? One time I did, this is TMI. One time I did send a girl like a picture of my abs. Yeah. And she like sent it to my friend and been like, yo, tell Josh I'm going to extort him. It wasn't even, you couldn't even see my face. <laughs> you, couldn't even, you couldn't even see my face, right? <laughs> and I was like, that ain't me. It was me though. <laughs> but like, it was just my fucking chest. Like, what are we doing here? You're going to extort me because my chest is out? Yeah, like, that spicy Abigail 1336. It was him. Her name was up. Abigail. <laughs> it was Abigail. Was it? No. <laughs> Was it you? It was you. It was me. I catfish you, dude. I used to do that a lot. So Snapchat, like, so I, so when Snapchat started in 2012, I always used to like post BTS for Epic Meal Time, and we would, po- I would post like shit that no one ever saw, and then yeah. I kind of grew like a small following. And then in 2016, Snapchat started like changing everything, and they put me on their front page. I was getting like millions of views a day. Millions. Yeah, I know because you. One time, put me on your story. You got three million views, and I look like a jackass. And then people that was the time we were up. Me. We were up. North. Yeah, 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 dude. You did look like a jackass. Josh just looks at me. He goes, three million <laughs> people just saw you look like an idiot." I was like, <laughs> "Sick." And stories are so personal. Yeah, yeah. yeah payback. We can have like two thousand people. <laughs> yeah, we'll put the video of you falling down. And oh my god. <laughs> and then Snapchat started like offering, uh, like creator shows and like produced content and stuff like that, and. They hit they they treat me like as the OG like I'm almost like their like litmus test you know like yeah. we know Josh is down with whatever we want him to do mm-hmm. let's give him the opportunity it's an opportunity to make money it's an opportunity to create and all these sort of things and I was like part of the pilot program of making these shows so I did that which is what you're talking about with your bro yeah and even still like Snapchat treats me great I still post more content on Snapchat than I do on anything else um, and I followers just, you on Snap. 2.2 million. Yeah, wow. That's the one thing I can't check. Yeah. Which is so personal because Snap, it's like, do you follow creators on Snap? Like, I bet no. You can. don't, but people do, man. Yeah, I know. Every time I get, rec- I don't get recognized that much, but like every time I do get recognized in public, no matter what it is, it's from Snapchat. I was trying to, I was trying to explain to, to these guys, cause we we're talking about like when we we're doing the research is that like when you would go and you couldn't, you couldn't look this up. There's no way for us to look this up or show you. But when he used to go live on, on tw- uh, Twitch, every person he would have like 150 people they were all brand new every day yeah so it was like i don't know what twitch is but i'm here from snap yeah yeah and then i carried snap gang yeah and it would be like every day like they wouldn't be like when we go live on twitch it's like oh that's our homie like i know that that name i know this no new names every time every single time it was 150 new people every day it was like hey man i've been watching you since epic meal time and you know what the funny part is every time they come in my chat i would fucking they would hate the priest on poppy they would hate Caper so much. Oh That's usually God. how it goes. Yeah. No, no, no. But like, no, no. the funniest <laughs> part about him and I on, when I was doing Twitch consistently is like, we were like villains to one another. We were like, right, like arch nemesis. But so like in a joking way. To explain, yeah, you guys would argue with each other and fight. Like, it was beyond when that. I got no. into it. When I got into it, it was during the pandemic. So there's a lot of pandemic streamers and they were very brand safe and sensey. Oh yeah, I remember when I started, I was very much like all love, positivity all the time. And it was fucking exhausting. Me too. Except for when he came in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so when I would go in, because I would just go in there and be like, fuck you, you're a bitch, blah, blah, your food <laughs> sucks. And then like people would lose their minds and they'd be like, you're not allowed to do this on Twitch. Like that in their head, they're like, this can't be done on Twitch. And I'd be like, eat shit, motherfucker. Like, and it got to the point where we were doing it so much that I was banned like 200 times. He would get show. banned for like two minutes, come back, say one thing, get banned again for two minutes, <laughs> come back. Yeah, and then I would, I would give like subs and be like, eat shit, eat these subs, you stupid bitch. Then he would go live and I would go into his chat and yeah. the same thing would happen. Yeah. <laughs> It was good. It was and good then, times. like, he he was like when when you were on there. Basically, what you were doing is at the time you were going live and then filming your Snapchats and then filming your YouTube. Content. It was uh, mm. my whole thing was um, maximum output. Yeah, maximum output stream. Maximum output. I would be shooting a YouTube video and my Snapchat and Twitch at the same time. Yeah, I had six cameras going. Oh my god! At the time, I had like five viewers. Jesus! So he raids me with like a hundred and something people, and I fucking stole his whole setup. And dressed like him, and then just did a whole bit where I was Josh. Yeah, <laughs> and that's like how, how I started to kind of get like my my. No, audience. but at the time, at the time, like there was a there was a small cooking community, 
that like kind of didn't they ostracized us because yeah. we came on it was me the poppy. it was me caper eli food and food beast um I mean, I think that was it, the three of us. The cooking community did not was, like us. And we came in. I was doing food content. He was doing, like, basically gaming at the time. Oh, yeah. It was, I was Call, Call of Duty. Duty. But I would be in there. And then Eli and Food Beast were doing their thing as well, you know? And we were almost like the antiheroes because people loved our setup. They loved our shit. We had good quality. We had great banter. Mm -hmm. Nothing pretentious about it. And the st the standing food community hated the fact that we were like coming and encroaching they were saying like oh these big youtube instagram accounts are coming and stealing our clout <laughs> literally that's what they would say they said that to me and i was just laugh I it's, like good to see, it's good to see that um uh twitch hasn't changed really it's good to see that you know what the funny know? thing about that is is that every single person that said that with the exception of a, of a few and ended up being our friends mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they were all part of this like group mm -hmm. called Team Bonin. <laughs> Bro, you're about to throw shade. You're not even on the platform. Fuck right? all those people. Because <laughs> everyone Team that left Bonin? that, were, they were called Team Bonin, and it was just like this group of like kitchen people, mm -hmm. food people. And they were like so mean to us. And we were like, okay. It was a very weird space. Like when I, when I got onto Twitch, it like fucked with my head because it was like. Well, that hasn't changed. Yeah. No, but it was worse then because now was, he's like a little bit like seasoned, you know? Yeah. No, no. Buddy. No, he's not. No. <laughs> no, you don't see him every day. No. <laughs> not that seasoned, dude. Well, no, Guys, you have, to, you, have to understand, you have to understand something. For Different the first spice. two years of, of COVID, mm -hmm. we spoke every single day. Yeah. We faced on every single day. I realized how much of a psychopath he was. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm getting there. He's nuts. Yeah. Once I met. That's me. I'll be right. I just love that you guys are in chef hats right now. <laughs> We've been wearing them the entire time. I can't do that because, you know, hair is part of my brand. Yeah, yeah I don't want your hair plugs to fall out. That's a good Yo, move. The other day, I was talking to someone. They're like, okay, seriously, how often do you dye your hair? And I was like, how often do you do it? I've never dyed my hair. Dude, we got, those, we got that Jewish gene, bro. bro. We're never going yeah, to get gray. Yeah. That's right. We're never going to get gray now. Colonization. Don't put that hand down. That was fucked. That was fucked. Colonization. Wait, I didn't do anything. Dude, that, that hand was fucked. I was trying to high-five it. Whoa. Oh, Careful with that racial yeah. slur. Whoa. Careful I was with that trying to high five you. That's I was a racial to be part slur. Of it. That's Jesus. a racial slur right there. I wasn't slurring, dude. Whoa. No. Buddy. It's well, like Arabs. Like you're either you either have a full head of hair the rest of your life or you're bald by twenty five. Yeah. I get both. I mean hundred percent. Right I think that's a I think that's a <laughs> that's a Mediterranean thing. Cause I got like Greek friends that are the same way. You know, mm. some Greeks I know that have yeah. like the craziest hair and other are completely bald. Shout out Yorgo. Did Jewish people go bald quick? What? Have you seen my dad? No, you didn't, because you didn't come to my wedding. Is he bald? Let's talk about that. <gasps> hey, you want to go? Hey, you want to do it? Hey. There's some beef that needs to be fixed. Hey. Uh, so, no. if you guys don't know, uh, Capri <laughs> is uh, afraid of traveling, flying. Flying. And I had a wedding a couple years ago in Montreal, which is a six-hour flight away from California. Yeah. And I invited him and his cousin, Eli, my, one of my best friends. And... The week before, paper bailed. One week before, yeah, because he was afraid of flying. Yeah, and because That's of not how you told that story at all, yeah. because of that, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, yeah. why yeah. be fucking serious? So because too. of that, yeah, I wrote Caprice. I wrote caper. How long did I write you off for? Like a, two months, three months. I, I basically put caper in timeout for <laughs> two was, months. Okay, <laughs> okay. Here's the deal. I was deathly afraid of flying, but at the time, I also hadn't left my house in like two years. Yeah, it was right. It after was like COVID. right after, like I was like. In all fairness, held... by the way, thirty percent of my wedding got. I had a super spreader wedding. Yeah, thirty percent of the wedding got. got <laughs> I heard COVID. that. Yeah, I heard yeah. that. So too. I was so deathly afraid of COVID that, like, you, Josh knows, I wouldn't touch things. I wouldn't go outside of my house. I I was too. Is there anything left? There's a little left. And. A month before this had happened, like maybe two months, I finally ventured outside because I got the vaccine and stuff. So I was like, okay, I'm like better enough to go outside. But I booked the flight being like, I'm going to do it, blah, blah. But like I was having like bad fucking anxiety, like to the point where like. By the way, in sleeping. retrospect, like I don't, I don't blame you. No. Yeah. I mean, like. At this point, especially given the circumstances. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Wasn't that big of a deal in yeah. the long run? In yeah. retrospect, not that big of a deal. Bars and tone, really but quick. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, welcome back. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so like, so like, what happened is like, I didn't go, and I like, I told Josh a week before, but I was like debating about. I was gonna go, and then at the last second, like, I went to therapy, and the dude's like, "Hey, this is like becoming to the point where you could relapse and then become like agoraphobic again." So I was like to the point where it was fucking with me like for weeks. Like it, it's honestly even hard to talk about because it was. Josh knows how bad I was during COVID. Like it was to the point where like I wasn't a functional human, and he knew me before COVID. So he knew that like, I was the dude that would go everywhere. Yeah, but know? one week before his wedding. That's Wait, insane. the funny thing, you want to hear the funniest yeah, part about insane. this? I was mentally ill. You want to hear the funniest part about this? Mm. Is that like a year before, Eli, his cousin, was like, he's not coming to your wedding. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, dude, dude, he told me he's coming. He's coming. Like, okay, we'll see about that. Then well, I, was, I was doing business with his brother at the time. And his brother was like, this is like six months before. He's like, do you think he's coming to your wedding? There's no yeah. chance. I was like, he told me he booked the flight. Anyways, no one had faith in, in Caper to come to my wedding except for me. And lo and behold. You're right. He bailed. Yeah, you were right the whole time. So, well, the other, so, the other, so because of that, I didn't talk to him for two months. It was I wasn't mad. I just had to put him on timeout. I was getting calls from people constantly being like, yo, are you okay? Is everything okay with you? The on like, yeah, just put, he's on timeout. The worst. And then a day after two months, I called him. I was like, what's up, man? He's, he's <laughs> such a bitch. Dude, the worst part about it, too, the worst part about it is that I was out like three grand for this wedding because, like, you couldn't, you couldn't, I couldn't cancel the hotel because I booked a two room and I couldn't cancel the, the flight. They wouldn't cancel it. So, like, I was in my head, I was going. No, it's like a credit for Air Canada. I was like, it was whenever, like when are you going credit, back to Canada? Really? My credit was like $100 out of a $1,000 ticket. But it was also the, in my head, for some reason, I thought the flight was like an hour and the flight was six hours, which I didn't understand. Why would like, it be an hour? It's I'm an really dude, in another dude, country at, on the opposite coast, quite literally. Also, but at that time, I was not mentally well. Like, no, that was the other thing. No. I like, mean, you're still not mentally well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Thank you for specifying I mean, that. Let's call a spade a spade here, you know? I'm very mentally healthy. You know okay. what? Is this Last how night, I called him as he was putting makeup on. I'm a, I'm a mustache. <laughs> I was like, what mustache. is happening here? You're like, I was doing her I'm broken. I'm broken. Oh, he's broken. <laughs> broken. broken. Yeah, he did me a favor. I know, I know. I had to, I had to get my brakes changed. It's fine. Fine. Safety first. I hate cars. I don't think women should be allowed to drive. Don't say what that. What do you think about that? Don't say that. I think Saudi Arabia agree? had a point whenever they did it. Oh, okay. Do you agree or not? <laughs> I, 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 know, I actually know some like really good, badass women drivers. And listen, anyone could be a bad driver. Yeah. The problem, the thing with driving, especially here, is you can't be afraid. Like, that's what I'm you saying. You have afraid. to put your like chest in the fucking driving. Yeah, you do. Well, and you whenever your you're an aggressive driver, you get bitched out by certain people. People Who, name them. You know, you're a horrible fucking driver, dude. I mean, Capri Sun Poppy. Are, I mean, Caper, you're not a good driver either. No, you're not a good driver. I am. I am white knuck. I am white knuckling whenever I'm in the car. With oh him. yeah, <laughs> you give me anxiety. You know what he does in the car too? That gives me anxiety when he drives. He's like he just drives in the and or starts knocking on shit, and I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> By the way, your cousin also not a good driver. <laughs> Eli. <laughs> yeah, Eli. I would terrible. I would never get in a car with Eli. I think every Lebanese person is a bad driver. The camera shut off again. Yeah, just keep it's fine. talking. We'll just do the. We'll go to the Patreon anyways because we're yeah. at the Patreon level. Sure, why not? We, we covered a lot. Yeah, we yeah. covered. We I think we hit everything I wanted to hit. I want it. Well, I, <laughs> dude, what if? <laughs> what a sociopath! I, I, know. I did everything I Fuck. wanted to do this, today. This is All right, I'm good. I'm good. Well, yeah, see, go. I told you he'd randomly fucking transition yeah. out. You well, know what? No, go. no. I wanted to hit something else. I wanted to ask John. No, fuck you. Yeah, your nay on YouTubers. We'll do that on the. We'll Patreon. do that on the Patreon. Uh, I thought Josh you were gonna say. So. I, mean, I thought you were gonna say yeah, 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 something else. <laughs> oh, no, no. We're gonna go to the Patreon. Josh, is there anything you wanted to? Uh, plug or promote yeah uh check out my new podcast called full discourse podcast with josh elkin i archive internet food culture from the people who were there uh follow me on all things social media at the josh elkin for all things food and uh yeah i hope to see you there cool we're gonna go to the patreon we're gonna make josh rap and show us what it was like you know working in a recording studio for however many years he did that <laughs> <laughs> yeah i like cookies what did you put say put it in the oven we're baking no, we're no Coffee, cookies. We're making a pizza. I really I like cookies. <laughs> no breakfast. Yeah. I really like breakfast. <laughs> Thanks, I really like breakfast. Okay, we'll see yeah. you guys on Patreon. Bye. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> 
You know what we've all been doing lately? Freestyle diss tracks. Oh. You want to get into it? <laughs> you want me to get into it? Yeah, bro. Yeah, get get it. Let's get into it. In, Yo, put a beat on. Baking in the kitchen, I'm about to put these cookies in the oven. I'm baking, I'm baking, I'm stacking them up, eat a dozen. Cup of butter, white sugar, brown sugar, then mix it all up.